Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Well, we have been doing a lot of things in our previous lesson. We did moraimas and agimas and today we will do how to say, how to give things to people who are senior to you, how to receive things from people who are older to you in age, are higher to you in rank, are senior to you. So, we will do a lot of new things today. But before that, as I always do, we will go over the assignments and see and you could check whether they are right or not. So, well, let us see what we have over here. Match group A with group B. In group A, we have the kanji characters. Group B is the readings in Roman. So, well, let us see what it is. Oki te. Jikan, Daigaku, Kaisha, Ageru, Juji, Shichinen, Nanji, Toshi Ue, and Haha. So, well, Haha can also be Okasan. So, you have your kanjis done. Now, we will see what is next. Choose the most appropriate word from the bracket. You binkyoku wa doko ni arimasu ka? So, you have wa and ni as a pattern. Then, ikutsu ringo o kaimashita ka? Ikutsu is how many? Gakko ni kodomo ga nan nin gurai imasu ka? Because of kodomo, counter nin is used, ikura is how much, nanko is for things, and dore is which one. Nan de tegami o kakimasu ka? By what? With the help of what? Isu no ue ni nani ga arimasu ka? What is there on the chair. Donna mono ga takai desu ka? Which mono ga takai desu ka? Donna is what type of or which one? Dare ni nihongo o naraimashita ka? And hea ni dare ka imasu ka? Is someone over there? Well, we have fill in the blanks with proper interrogative words for you. Some more question words we need to fill over here. Let us see. Anata wa dare ni tegami o kakimasu ka? Whom are you writing to? Okasan ni nani o moraimashita ka? What did you get? From. Again, you have ni. So, ni over here is from your mother. Anata wa doushite norikaemashita ka? Why did you change? Rao san wa itsu kaerimasu ka? When is he going to return? Mariko san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person? What type of a person? Then, then dono jisho wa i desu ka? Dono is which one of the two or three dictionaries? Depato de Ikura haraimashita ka? How much did you pay at the department? Seiru wa itsu kara desu ka? Seiru is sale. Seiru wa itsu. When? So, well, this was question words for you. Then, plain form of verbs we have been doing. So, we will fill in the blanks with plain form. Okasan wa mainichi gohan o Tsukuru, tsukuri mas. Sensei wa nihongo de uta o utatta, utai mashita. Kodomo tachi wa kouen de asobu, asobi mas. Watashi wa kino ichinichi jiu neta, nemashita. 
先週先生に手紙をもらったもらいました先生に from 先生お母さんに時計をあげたあげました Now sometimes you will notice that in Japanese in conversation we do not put or use the subject For example, over here, Watashi wa okasan ni toke o ageta or agemashita. The watashi wa is omitted. It is not written, it is understood. So please keep that in mind. Okasan ni toke o ageta. Watashi wa departo de kaimono o suru shimas. Senshu sensei ni atta. I mashita. The next one is translate the following sentences to English. So, well, the English sentences are given over here, sentences in English are written, you have to translate it into Japanese, and I am sure you will be able to do it. So, you can go over this and do it at home. So now, as you have seen your assignments, Hajime Masho ka mina san. Okay, so let us start. Let us see what we have over here. We did Moraimas and Agimas last time. So again, we have I received a book. Hon o itadaki mashita. So this is what we are going to do over here. First and foremost, we have this dialogue for you. Just listen to the dialogue very carefully and let us see how much you understand. Taro kun, takai tokei desu ne. Oto san ni muraimashita ka? Iie, oni san no tomodachi ni itadakimashita. Tanjoubi no presento desu ka? Iie, senshu Amerika kara oni san no tomodachi ga kimashita. Sono kata kara no omiyage desu. いいね。じゃあ、あなたはお兄さんの友達に何を差し上げますかそうですね。何をあげましょうかね。日本の人形はどうですかいいね。ありがとう。So well, how much did you understand over here? I'll read it out once and explain. タロウ君。高い時計ですね。お父さんにもらいましたかいいえ、お兄さんの友達にいただきました。誕生日のプレゼントですかいいえ、先週アメリカからお兄さんの友達が来ました。その方からのお土産です。いいね。じゃああなたはお兄さんの友達に何を差し上げますかそうですね。何をあげましょうかね。日本の人形はどうですか。ああいいね。ありがとう。So well, there are two new words over here. いただきました and 差し上げます。And of course, you have another new word which is kata. Let us see what it all means. So taro kun. Kun is for son. Kun is for boy. As chan is for girls, Mariko chan and Taro kun. Takai toke desu ne. I'm sure most of it is understood. Oto san ni muraimashita ka? Did you receive it from your father? Did you get it from your father? Iie, oni san no tomodachi ni itadaki mashita. So, well, itadakimas is similar to muraimas but polite. Why polite over here? Because oni san. Elder brother, no tomodachi. From his tomodachi, you have received, thus it is itadakimas. Tanjobi no presento desu ka? Iie, senshu Amerika kara oni san no tomodachi ga kimashita. Sono kata kara no omiyage desu. Sono kata, sono hito, sono person, that person. Sono kata kara from that person. No 
お土産です。いいね。じゃああなたはお兄さんの友達に何を差し上げますか ?What are you going to give him? Now, 差し上げます is because he is お兄さんの友達。そうね。何をあげましょうか ?What shall I give him? 日本の人形はどうですか ?Or いかがですか ?As we did last time. いいね。That's a good idea. ありがとう for the idea. So, well, we will try to practice and see what all is new in the lesson. This is your、uh, script. You have kanji, you have hiragana, and of course, you have katakana also this time. So, you can differentiate easily what is what. And this is the translation in English. Not a literal translation, but what you would say in English or what is said in English. So, well, we did agimas and muraimas. Now, you can, you can just, we will just go over it a little, revise it a little. What do we have? We have a san and we have sensei over here. What happens is when you do agimas and muraimas, it is a direct relationship. You are talking to a person who is your age, is in your group, but over here it is sensei. So, what do you do? Well, for respect instead of agimas, you will use sashi agimas. And when you receive something, From your teacher or someone who is older to you or higher in rank, then again for respect you will use, we will see what it is right away. Well, first and foremost, let us do sashi agemas. It is A wa B ni sashi ageru. A gives to B. And then over here, Over here, what are we giving to sensei? Candy, like in our previous lesson. So, well, A wa B ni candy o agemas. That is the normal thing that should happen. But over here, because it is sensei, then it should be sashi agemas and not agemas. Now, we have sensei again over here. And we have A san over here. A san is going to receive or has received something from his teacher. Position is high, age is ue. Then, what will you say for respect? It is itadaku or itadaki mas. A wa b ni itadaku or A receives from B. A wa b ni candy o ita. That is how it is done. You can see the difference over here in ageru and morau, it is a direct relationship. Well, in sashi ageru, it is a little different. Now, we will make it here for you and you will see very clearly how it is. A and you have B over here. This is what we did last time ageru and Morau. Subject is always A. A wa. A gives and A is receiving. But if it is your teacher over here or someone higher in rank like this, then it is A is giving, but it is for respect. Sashi a geru. And over here, if you are if you are over here, your teacher is here, then For respect again, it is receiving, receiving or morau, but for respect it is ita daku. And again, the subject is a over here all the time. Please remember a wa sashi ageru and a wa morau. That is how it works. So, where you are placed. What your position is, your verb will change accordingly. Now, over here we have ni and kara. As you saw last time, 
in both cases the particle used is ni a wa b ni morau a wa b ni ageru or in this case itadaku and in this case sashi ageru now the verb uh, the particle over here sorry is ni in this case it is all right a wa b ni to b he gives but a wa b ni morau is correct and easier way to remember would be kara which you have done in your previous lessons you know it means from so you can easily do it a wa b kara itadakimashita a wa b kara morai mashita a received from b that's how you can do it and remember initially and later on you can use ni in both situations <coughs> well you can practice now a wa b ni hon o ageru or sashi ageru a wa b ni hon o morau or itadaku over here you can use kara a wa b ni hon o agemashita sashi agemashita a wa b kara hon o moraimashita or itadaki mashita i received a book from b so well you can practice kara now it will make it a little easier for you to differentiate when to use ageru and when to use morau now we will go over this it's very clear over here a wa b ni ageru ageru you can see very clearly a wa b ni ageru a wa b ni morau you can see morau also over here very clearly that we did just now a wa b ni morau then again a wa sensei ni what is happening now sashi ageru you can see very clearly a wa sensei ni sashi ageru and then again a wa sensei ni what is happening receiving from him so well it is itadaku a wa sensei ni itadaku so all of it is given very clearly you can go step wise and you can practice again and again till agemas moraimas itadakimas and sashi agemas is clear to you you can ask your partner can get a reply or you can ask your partner to ask you and you can give a reply in different situations place yourself like this like this like this or like this and then practice using any of these four and see how much you remember and you can do it's given also over here you can read it it's very clear sashi ageru and itadaku now you can practice also we have tanaka san doing something you can use sashi agemas or itadakimas let us see what he is doing or what he is receiving sensei ni pen o sashi agemashita so here is the pen sensei ni to sensei pen o sashi agemashita of course the subject is not written watashi is not written over here watashi wa sensei ni pen o sashi agemashita the moment the verb is sashi agemas the subject is i now let us see what they are doing kekkon shiki desu ne they have just gotten married so what are these people doing omedetou gozaimasu of course you have done this phrase and again omedetou gozaimasu you can congratulate people 
when they get married. You can congratulate people when they get a good job like this or when they have a child or anything something good that happens to anyone. You can say omedeto gozaimasu and then what is it? This is hana. Hana is flowers and tomodachi ni hana o itadakimashita. So, the bride is saying tomodachi ni hana o itadakimashita. I received from my friends. Then again you have Tanaka san on the denwa. Let us see what he has to say. Tomodachi ni denwa o itadakimashita. Again it is watashi over here. And then we have this gentleman Tanaka san again. He is celebrating his birthday. So, let us see what it is. There are a lot of presents he has got. So, tanjoubi ni presento o sashiyage mashita. So, Tanaka san's friend over here, friends over here have given something to him. So, they are saying watashi tachi wa tanjoubi ni presento o sashiyage mashita. We have given something to Tanaka san or maybe sensei or maybe bucho which is your boss or head. Thus, it is sashiyage mashita. So, well you can practice like this with your friends over and over again and use itadakimasu, sashiyagemasu, agemasu and moraimasu and learn. Well, as we always do, we will do kanji today after our practice. So, the first kanji that you can see over here or the first kanji character, the Chinese character that you see over here is umareru. Uma reru or umu. The character is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now you will see that this line is a little long. This is shorter than this one, and this is the longest of them all. So we have, I'll draw it once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This means umu, which is to be born. To be born is umu or to give birth to. Now, how it is made, we will see just now after completing this character. This character umu or say as the second reading over here, say. You have done it a number of times as gakusei. You have done it as daigakusei, you have done it as sensei. So, well today do it as umu and umareru. It is a five stroke character as is given over here. You can see very clearly it has five strokes to it. I will make it once again for you. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Please note this is not of the same size, this is smaller. Now, the second character that we have over here is Sen or Saki meaning before or ahead. So, well you have done it in Sensei. Sen, say, this is one character. So, well, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It goes like this. So, it is a 6 stroke character. As you can see over here, it is written very clearly. It is a 6 stroke character. Now, I will make it once again for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then like this. This is sensei. Sen, sensei no sen. 
the word you already know sensei and you can use this character. When you join these two characters, sensei will be made as is given over here in this slide. You can see sen and se, sensei. Sensei means someone who is born before you. So, it is as simple as that. This means before, this means to be born. Someone, a person who is born before you is naturally your teacher. You learn a lot of things from that person. That person can teach you more things, has more experience and obviously will be your teacher. Thus, for all teachers, this word sensei is used. You can practice this and you can also understand how this character has come into being. Some of the kanji characters are very interesting. Some of them you can relate to, some of them you understand, you know how it has come into being. But there are characters which are a little complicated, which are made with combinations and thus become a little complicated to remember and memorize and write. So, those characters are a little difficult, but some of the characters are very interesting. Now, you have this one Oshogatsu. Oshogatsu. Oshogatsu is New Year. New Year in Japan is called Oshogatsu. O over here is used for honorific, for polite, as we have done in Okane or Onamai. In a similar manner, we do O over here for Oshogatsu. Shogatsu. Now, the character is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Gatsu you have already done earlier. You have, we have done this character. This means month. I will make it again for you. O Shogatsu over here, O is over here, O 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then Gatsu you have already done earlier. This is Osho Gatsu. So, next time when you see this character written somewhere, you will know exactly what it means. Osho Gatsu is New Year. Well, it is given over here. You can check it out later. Try to make it in a similar manner and I am sure you will be able to recognize it next time when you see it. Now, over here you can see how umareru has come into being or to give birth to has come into being. You can see a flower over here, the simple flower which has come out of the ground and it is ready to give or bear fruit or give birth to a new thing or a life. That is how it has now become associated with umareru, to give birth to something, to give birth to something new. From here, this flower changes to something and something new is made. And over here, you have this word saki or sen, which means ahead or before. And you can see this gentleman running or feet over here and as feet take us forward, that is the first thing that comes in front. Thus, saki is associated with front, ahead or before. This takes you forward or ahead is what it means. So, you can remember these characters like this with the words given and use them also later. Now, there are some new words with kanji characters as we always do. You could repeat after me. You know the words, some of the words you know and well, you can try to memorize the new ones. Sen shu, sen shu, the week before. Sen getsu, last month. 
高校生 a student say over here is a student umu to give birth to gakse a student daigakse a graduate student so se is over here you can see koko se gakse and daigakse this you have done but we'll do we have done it now in this lesson as umare ru what to give birth to now in our previous lessons we did hiragana we completed 46 syllables of hiragana and now we'll try to do katakana you will see the difference in hiragana and katakana very clearly now katakana is very angular katakana is more masculine as it has come from kanji characters you can see straight lines over here whereas hiragana if you go back to your lessons you will see it is more cursive it is round it is more feminine so well it's given over here very clearly you can see it a ah. you can see how the stroke order is one and then like this two a ah, e and in e it has to start from here and not like this then u you can see again u very clearly a the first one is small and the second one is a little longer and you have o in the end so you can see how angular they are and go back to the slides go back to the lessons and see how cursive and round hiragana is and now you have all of it on one slide on one page and you can see how the stroke order is given clearly please try to remember there is vocabulary for you some new vocabulary which we did in the lesson sashi ageru is there which i told you itadaku now most of the time verbs will be used in plain form will be written in plain form for you so please try to make the mass form automatically sashi ageru itadaku umareru nenga jo this is not a verb new year cards are called nenga jo saki hagaki and umu over here which is give birth to as we did just now in our kanji now as promised earlier we have been doing uh, festivals of japan i've been telling you about festivals of japan and we did hinamatsuri and we did hanami earlier now we will do a very very important festival of japan a very very celebrated much awaited festival of japan which is oshogatsu and that was the reason i told you the character also well this is a small girl you can see over here with some decorations here in a nice kimono on shogatsu and this decoration is very very important as it has bamboo it has pine trees it is colorful and it has all the auspicious things with which you welcome the new year in japan and you decorate this whatever it is called it's called a kazari actually in in japanese this thing what you make you decorate outside your houses at shogatsu time this is oshogatsu as you can see over here it's festive time 
merry making time, enjoyment with friends and family and you celebrate the new year. Well, there are a lot of things written about new year. Now, new year officially is celebrated on the 1st of January every year and this happened in 1873 when they decided to start this celebration on the 1st of January. In traditional time, in olden times, in traditional manner, the Japanese New Year was similar to the Chinese New Year and it was celebrated by the lunar calendar, according to the lunar calendar and this practice is there even now in some, some places in Japan and they do celebrate their New Year sometime in February still in some parts of Japan. So, well, there is lot of enjoyment, there is lot of celebration, socializing, merry making, partying during this time of the year. There are lot of customs, innumerable customs practices followed on uh, Shogatsu time and this, this uh, Shogatsu vacation is long in Japan. It starts around on the 28th of December and continues till the 4th or the 5th of January. And interestingly, the, Jap the Japanese have lot of good things to eat at this time and there is special food that is made from rice cakes, from omochi and they have it specially during Shogatsu. Now, the ryori that is made, the cuisine that is made, the Japanese cuisine which is special during this time is osechi ryori as is given over here, which is made out of, I will show you the pictures also, which is made out of whatever is available during winter time, whatever seafood, fish, vegetables they can get traditionally this was the practice. Now, of course, a lot many things are available, but Osechi Ryori generally has as is given over here shrimp, seaweed, eggs, chestnut because this is what is available during winter and you serve this food with ozoni which is the traditional soup of Japan made out of omochi which is rice cakes sticky rice cakes and it is a clear broth and is served very, very hot. As all the other food that is served during Oshogatsu is served cold. The reason being that the wives, the lady of the house, the ladies of the house should also enjoy the season, also enjoy the festival and should celebrate it with their family and friends and get, a, get some relaxation time, get some rest during the festival. They also decorate um, omochi cakes and put them outside or inside in their houses and use a lot of uh, auspicious, lot of, lot of things which are considered auspicious and decorate it with that. For example, they would decorate it with, with um, tsuru, uh, origami or with uh, oranges or with all other kind of all other kind of auspicious things considered in the uh, Chinese uh, system. There is also a system that uh, um, which is which has been followed for a very very long time is that on the 31st of December in all the temples they ring bells for 108 times to actually s free ourselves of the worldly desires and the 108 sins that we have committed during the year and there is a very nice custom during Shogatsu time to write letters to friends and family you have not been able to meet during the year due to various reasons may be busy or whatever could not meet and thus would like to inquire about them how they are and thank them for whatever they have done during the previous year. And another reason for writing these letters is to show your calligraphy skills 
they are written in hand to show that you have actually taken out time, you have put in so much energy and effort to remember them and to write to them personally. It's, it's showing your concern and your love for the person. So, these are some very, very uh, sweet uh, customs followed in Japan. And also an interesting custom that is followed is, they, they pay special attention to what is done the first time in the new year. So, maybe going to office, that is considered very important first time when you visit office, seeing or watching the first sunrise, the first laughter you enjoy with friends, being with family, all this is considered very, very auspicious and good. And they pay lot of attention to all these small things which give joy to people. Another important thing about Osho Gatsu is that there is a special way of greeting. There is a special greeting which is um, used during Shogatsu time and this is omedeto gozaimasu, kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai shimasu, meaning basically that of course, congratulating in the new year, giving your good wishes, your best wishes, your greetings and also requesting the person to be nice and kind as he was, as he has been in the past year, continue to be kind and nice to and continue our friendship. So, that is the meaning of this greeting and of course, we will see the slides now, they are all from the net, some of them are from Wikipedia. So, you can go on the net yourself, you can see and look up what all customs are followed, what all beliefs are there, what they do especially during new year. It is a colorful festival. As you can see, this kodomatsu, which is the decoration I was talking to you about earlier, is done with bamboo, with pine trees, whatever is available in winter during that time, whatever um, fruits or vegetables or whatever can be made in the harsh cold winter is available, is decorated very nicely outside the gates. The houses are clean. The Mm, there is a general cleaning of the house, making the house beautiful, freeing it of all bad things, of all evil and welcoming the new year is a big, big celebration and custom in, in, in uh, Japan. This is the Osechi Ryori which they have and it is believed that the Japanese have their food with their eyes that is the general saying there. So, the food has to be very, very beautiful, colorful and presented very, very nicely. So, that is how it is done. So, all the things that are available like you have eggs, you have vegetables and all kinds of things that are served in Osechi Ryori. This is the ozoni that I was talking about, the clear soup which is made of broth, fish broth and the rice cakes. It is a clear soup and served very hot. This is the kagami mochi, which is again rice cakes nicely decorated with oranges and this fan over here, birds and tortoise and all kinds of things which are considered auspicious. This is the nengajo or the postcards that you send to your friends and family, write something on it and send. This custom was a, is of course, there in India as well, but is losing and somehow we have stopped sending cards to people, uh, but this custom is still on in Japan and they are very proud of it, that they send these nengajos to people. Over here, you can use the mass form, which means, which this one means to send okurimas, the mass form over here, nengajo o Okuri mas. This is the nengajo here. So, well, now we have shogatsu people, that is what they do. They wear good clothes, they go to the jinjas or the temples, visit and take blessings with family. And this is the expression which is used during shogatsu time. 
dressed up like this in front of the kodomatsu and well this is how you would greet and say akemashite omedetou gozaimasu kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu this is a phrase any time during new year you are supposed to say this phrase and greet people this can continue till the 10th or the 15th of january so all about new year there is lots more to tell many many more things to tell about new year but well for the time being this much will suffice and you can also look up the net and see what all you can find and learn from there. Now it is your time we have your shukudai here for you and as always make good sentences match group A with group B. Look at these pictures and tell what is to be used where out of agemas, muraimas, sashi agemas and itadakimas. And then of course, match these kanji characters with their meanings and fill in the blanks with proper verb forms, the verb forms that we have done. And I think that is all, that is enough for today. You have lot of work to do, lot many things to do to learn now, lot of sentences to make, lot of, lot of conversation to do with your friends. So, I leave you here for you to practice at home, learn all the vocabulary, do your kanji characters and we will meet again soon. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.